I don't know about you, but this has been the debate of a lifetime. This past weekend, I asked all my barbecue friends about this challenge, and I really got a 50-50 answer. Many will stick with the cast iron because that's what they know, or they even have emotional values attached to it and so on. But to my surprise, many of them voted for the copper pan, as it is the best material to handle heat. If you know me a little bit, you already know that I will have to try it and share my honest opinion with you. Is it worth it to spend money on a copper pan to make the most incredible steaks? Or the old cast iron is the best and only thing to be used for steaks? Stay tuned because we're gonna find out. I got this copper pan from Amazon. Links of everything I use in the description. And even though it looks like a solid pan, it was not much more expensive than the cast iron I used for my cooks. This is very pretty and the beautiful colors of the copper makes it look amazing. But look is not everything. Don't believe me? Ask my wife. The heat properties of copper has been something we all know for a long time, at least 11,000 years. Copper cookware is praised for how fast it heat up, but it can also lose heat very fast, with both being good and bad things to keep in mind. Because copper is a noble metal, it can also scratch and vent very easily, so if you are rough with your cooking equipment, this might be a pass for you. Also, most copper pans are considered non-stick by nature, and they can watch very easily with soap and water once you're done cooking. In the other corner, whoo-hoo, I did it again, we have the old cast iron skillet. These are one of the most reliable, tough, and heavy pans you will ever use. The cast iron pan is praised for its heat retention, as when it heat up, it will be hot for a long time. And yes, it can be a good and bad thing depending on what you're doing. As a contrasting difference with the copper pan, the cast iron skillet is maintenance intense. You need to take good care of it and clean it carefully after every cook with salt only. Cast iron can be non-stick if you really want them to be, but not because of the material, but because of the membrane created inside the pan after many seasonings and uses. Well, we have the fighters presented and it is time to introduce the steaks. As I did with my previous pan's comparison, I went to my favorite store, Brower Meat and Fish, and asked my friendly butchers to cut me some steaks from the same sirloin, so we can take any difference on the meat out of the equation. And this is what I got home with me. Two very nice marble and good looking New York steaks ready for the test. As always, I will season them with sea salt and cursed pepper before even lighting up the grill and set them to the side so they can soak some of that seasoning in. Once the grill is hot and ready, I will set them steaks in the opposite side of the fire and allow them to cook until the internal temperature of each steak gets to 110 degrees. And then, and only then, I will take them out and get the pans ready to cook. This time, because the copper pan can heat up very fast, I will start with the cast iron one. Set it on the stove and wait for it to heat up real good, about five minutes. At that point, I will add some avocado oil to the pan. And yes, I'm just adding a little bit. Once the oil is hot, I will set my steak and let it sear for one minute per side. At the end, just shoot the stove off, add two tablespoons of butter, three smashed garlic cloves, and rosemary, and as soon as the butter melts, get on basting the steak like you mean it. Do this for 30 seconds and remove the steak from the heat, allowing it to rest about 10 minutes before you cut into it. And now it's time for the copper pan. Here we will do the same, but remember, this pan will heat up really fast. So, after one minute, I will add my avocado oil. And as you can see, it only took about a minute for the oil to be ready for the steak. Remember that anytime you're dealing with hot oil, try to set the steaks or anything else you're dealing with away from you, so any splash will go towards the person on the other side of the table. And after one minute, we flip our steak. 
and here you can see them both steaks seared side by side. Now it is time to baste the steak, but with this pan you should not shut your stove off, as it can cool off very fast. I will set my stove to low heat, and as I did with the steak before, add butter, garlic and herbs to it. And start basting your steak like that is not tomorrow. Okay, my people, here we have the result, and it's time for us to know what is the best pan. Man, Whatever do your hair? I thought I have, have a bag or something. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking hair is crazy, man. You still I have don't hair, know what buddy. To do with it. You still have hair. That's a good thing about uh, it. <laughs> Ninja, we have number A and we have number B. That, that's the way it is for you guys, right? A, B. No, that's wrong. That's I don't wrong. No. I'm always confused. But we're gonna go with number A, which is the first one we did, and then we go number B, which is the second one we did. You, there you we guys, go. you guys get it. All right. So what are we trying today? We are looking for the best, the most amazing, the most delicious, the most crazy, the craziness, the, the everything crust. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, let's do so, it. Let's go with number A. I'm gonna get a big piece for me. Not my little piece for a me. A little big piece for. Miss Ninja here. In the there house. There you go, Miss Ninja. Mm -hmm. Got my big piece here. It looks real Let's good. Let's do it. Let's go. I love the rosemary flavor. So good. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. First recommendation for you guys. Whenever you go in to the butchers, ask them for a thick steak. Thick steaks, they can hold more juices inside. Mm -hmm. It's more tender inside. and it's, um, This thing is crazy. I don't want to say nothing yet. Because we need to try the other one, but this is <laughs> like that. What is uh, like that? Ah. It's blowing okay. my mind. All right. Go for number B. Number B. Little piece for Miss Ninja. Mm -hmm. Big piece for Mr. Ninja. Let's go. Let's do it. Wow. I have a winner already in mind. Guys, number two is crazy. Number B. I'm sorry. Number <laughs> two? That doesn't exist. Number B. Not in our vocabulary. Number B is crazy, and I already have a winner. But let's see what Miss Ninja has to say first. Which one is your winner? Which one is your winner? Number B. Number B is Miss Ninja winner, and believe it or not. What? Number B is my winner, too! <laughs> because number B is delicious, brother. Ninja approved. And sisters. And sisters. <laughs> Guys, Don't leave the sisters out. Again, I'm sorry. Number oh B God. is the copper pan, it, and it's are you kidding freaking me? amazing. It is. It is really good. It is crazy. I can't believe it produced that beautiful flavor on the crust. Intense. Wow. Love it. I mean, I won't get rid of my cast iron pans, but I won't get rid of that copper pan either. This is crazy good, guys. My hands in my kitchen. <laughs> so for you guys to thought, that the cast iron was going to win. Just let me know down there if you ever try this thing. It is crazy good. It is good. good. It I is mean, amazing. The intensity of the flavor. Real good. On top of the crust. And then when you bite in it. It's beefy. It's juicy. But the crust. We're talking about the crust. Yes, the crust gained a lot of flavor. Love it. It's love really it. intense. It's really crunchy and beautiful outside. And the, the inside of the steak didn't cook as much as the other one. If you look at it, they were cooked both at the same the same amount of time. Man. This one is great, but this one, it preserved the interior of the steak a little bit better than the other one. And the crust is amazing. So there you go, we have a winner. Our family in Texas. Guys, we're gonna be there. <laughs> Guys, we're going to Texas. October 29th to We're the going to 31st. San Antonio. 
So if you're in San Antonio, let me know because I'm going to be glad to meet you guys. We have to come out with something so, that we all meet together. Are you in San Antonio? Yeah. Put it down there in the comments. Let us know. I will be there. But I have to ask you, man. What now? Did I make you hungry? Did we? If we make you hungry, man, you have to hit us with the like. Lots of, lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends and family. Yes, do so. And don't forget to share these videos on your social network because share that helps us a lot. You know, share the love a little bit, guys. Yes. It's not that bad. And I know I'm going to have a lot of comments. I know nobody's going to believe that the <laughs> Cooper freaking pan is crazy good. It is good. And is nobody's going to believe that the cash saddle loss is ground. But you let me know down there in the comment what do you think about it. Do it, do it, do it. That's all for today. But remember that I love you. Mm, love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Man, I have to finish this thing Bye. right now. Me too. And I want to have the garlic.